What's going on everyone? I got eight GTA leaks for you guys in this video. We're gonna be discussing all eight of them, going into a little bit of detail and what their possible effect on the gameplay will serve. If you guys enjoy it all, smash a thumbs up. Let's dive on into this video, man. So first, GTA 6 is definitely going to be one of the most anticipated games to ever come out. The hype around this game is like no other and what they plan on doing with this game, and I'm talking Rockstar Games to Grand Theft Auto, will definitely change the way we look at gaming forever. And you can't really say that about a lot of games but the gta franchise carries a lot of weight and as long as we waited between the last two grand theft autos we can be expecting a lot more implements of all these realistic characteristics we were talking about so the first one we're going to go over is the hostage mechanics this is a big leak in grand theft auto 6 now you're going to have the ability to zip tie hostages and keep them and manu and use them pretty much as leverage on in certain heists and robberies and situations you might need to get yourself involved in maybe to even use them as a negotiation tactic during maybe a bank robbery or something if you do have hostages in these situations and the cops are outside I'm sure you might be able to plan an escape around these hostages that you have secured it's also said that these hostages are gonna pretty much act as they did in Red Dead Redemption 2 so if you guys have played that game you had the ability to lasso and hog tie people you are gonna have that same exact ability in Grand Theft Auto you are going to be able to zip tie and take people as hostage and use them in certain situations making the gameplay of these robberies and heists much more immersive and way more suspenseful super excited to see all the implementations of this hostage mechanic put into the story mode i could already see how it's going to be online i know it was the lassos on red dead were a nightmare so if we could see them fixed out in a grand theft auto 6 update we're going to be having a lot of fun with this entire new mechanic on gta 6. number two we have character switching mechanics so what this means supposedly enhances cooperative gameplay or strategy by allowing players players to switch between characters like Jason and Lucia with specific actions like checking in. So this is a feature implemented in Grand Theft Auto 5 where you played as the three main protagonists and around the map you can check in on them and see how they're doing, what they're up to, and access different story missions according to each character. You will be able to do the exact same thing in GTA 6. Obviously they are going to add a twist where you will probably will encounter a lot more scenarios and situations where both of these players are in the exact situation at at the same time if you are playing as a couple i can see a lot more implementation of both of them being in the same place at the same time or in the relatively same location somewhere in the vicinity but if they aren't i'm sure we're going to be expecting a lot of crazy stuff to be happening in this vice city story but it is always good to see an old school implementation of the original gta 5 game i had no real complaints about the checking in method other than it did take a little while sometimes i know it did take a while when gta when gta 5 came out on the ps3 but now that I'm thinking about it, that might have just been an online mode only. I think the clouds, as far as story mode, didn't have too much gameplay effect of slowing anything down nor will I think it will have any effect in Grand Theft Auto 6 as well. But the implementation of that feature is going to allow us to encounter a lot of random world encounters. There's said to be over 1500 different world encounters in Grand Theft Auto 6, so when we are using this check-in feature, if they aren't in the same vicinity, or even if they are, we, we're going to be seeing different situations that these players are going to be able to get involved in, and we're going to have to maneuver out of. Super dope if they can definitely find a way to get this spot on, and even if they don't, the ability to switch in and encounter random situations in the world is going to be cool in general number three we have the advanced police response system what this pretty much is going to implement is it's going to create a more challenging and realistic law enforcement reaction and this is going to pretty much implement heavily on the story mode within the way the police ai interact with you they're not just going to be a shoot on site police that we're used to in grand theft auto 5 they are going to have their own reactions and feelings and emotions towards situations. So this is all things we're going to need to take to consideration with this implementation of the advanced police response system into the game or just the advanced AI system they are adding into GTA 6 in general. All the AI players in this game are going to be extremely advanced and extremely intelligent. So if they see you being bogus or being in a situation where you shouldn't be, they might escalate it to a point where the authorities get involved or they might even try to intervene themselves. 
whatever they decide to do this response system for the police is going to be in consideration when you are taking in and doing heists robberies or anything else that you might try to get your hands on to try to make some money it seems like the police will be on top of every movement or have a good idea of what's going on inside the entire map so planning things like robberies and heists are gonna take a little more strategic comprehension when going into things like this taking note of cameras cct footages and different police patrol routes because if these ai policemen are super advanced this is going to be worrisome they are pretty decent at trying to pit maneuver you in grand theft auto online already so making them a little smarter might actually tip the boundaries of how overpowered they can be or how stealthy and strategic we're now going to have to be because of this implementation i'm super excited for it regardless number four on the list is the upgraded water physics and it says here it's also including surfing so this is going to expand environmental interactions and sports activities within the game obviously they did hire a big team to go and work on the water physics in this game so the implementation of it you know they're going to take advantage of even when it comes to sports probably going to do a lot with fishing as well and the entire sea life being brought into gta 6 for your own personal gain and personal catching experience and it says you're going to be able to surf too dude i've never surfed in my life i think it's pretty hard but in gta man i think we're going to see a lot of master surfers out there very very quickly and just the ability to do that in a video game randomly like come on dude this is this is gonna be crazy man i'm telling you like surfing uh you we're gonna have some fun fellas number five on the list is interactive environments the purpose of this is gonna allow more interactions within the entire game world it says players can interact with car objects like trunks hoods leaving handprints gta 6 is definitely going to have a lot to do with the environmental interactions that you are going to be able to get yourself involved in i really think they're going to go down to the point where you're going to be able to pick flowers like you could in red dead redemption 2 you're probably going to be able to implement a lot of what red dead redemption 2 has brought as far as crafting healing setting up little bases of operations temporarily Everything we see in Red Dead 2 will have a slight implementation and upgrade in Grand Theft Auto 6. And I honestly think that's exactly what that game was for, testing a lot of the features that they want to add into the next generation of Grand Theft Auto. Either way, I don't care. The environment of Grand Theft Auto 6 is going to be almost 100% interactive as far as you might even be able to chop down a tree for wood. So I'm, I'm excited to see how far they want to take this. I think we're all strapped in for a crazy little roller coaster. Number six is the dynamic cover system the purpose of this obviously is to make combat more realistic and tactical cops and players can adjust their cover based on the environment leading to more dynamic shootouts this is something obviously we've seen in red dead 2 and grand theft auto 5 but the mechanics of this are going to be implemented greatly and advanced a lot more than what we have been seeing so things like little barrels you're going to be able to crouch behind and actually get your entire body fixated behind it almost to the point where you're going to be able to lay down in this game for cover Number seven, we have the expanded weapon handling. This is going to offer way more ways to handle and equip different types of weapons in the game. There will be bringing a Kimbo into the game as well. You will be able to dual wield certain weapons depending on their upgrades and ability. We've seen this in Red Dead 2 where you have the ability about halfway through the campaign to actually dual wield your pistols. And we are gonna see this implementation in GTA 6 with the ability to dual wield things like semi-automatic machine guns, submachine guns, and handguns for sure. The eighth and last thing I did want to hit on was the body leaning from vehicles. Now the implementation of being able to shoot out of any vehicle you are in is going to change a lot of gameplay dynamics entirely. This is going to change different strategies and a lot of the GTA 5 drive-by situations when it came to shooting out of your vehicle was a little easy. So they are hinting at a lot more of a advanced drive-by system where you're not going to be able to just shoot 100% accurately and as easily as you used to in GTA 5. I'm super excited on the implementation of all these things into Grand Theft Auto 6. And these are the top eight things I wanted to hit on in this video, man. Smash a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you guys are new. Hit the bell icon. Sub always stay notified. Never miss out on a video from your boy. GTA 6 leaks every day. I'll see you tomorrow with a new one. I'm out of here. Peace.